All right, what's up, guys? It's G again with uh, GL Studios slash Ain't Not Army. Today we're gonna be talking about another song, a DNG song. Today we're gonna be talking about the final. I know everybody's got their own version of the final, but I'm gonna be talking about um, my view of the final. This is from Weathering to Death. Um, I think everybody, every fan, new or old, they've heard this song before. Um, so, and I originally did not want to talk about this song because there's so many different uh, ways that it can be translated and also because of the trigger factor. But I've got so many requests and I, they just want to hear my, my view of it. So I'm just going to share my view of it. Of course, like all of my other videos, these are just my personal interpretations. Interpreta Interpretations, interpretations. Jeez, I can't even say that. So also, just so you guys know, I'm using my cell phone. I have a new phone now. It's better than my other phone. It looks good right now, but I don't know what it's gonna look like when I'm done recording. I'm actually in the parking lot of a thrift store right now, and there's people. This is a busy area. I took the day off so I can get tomorrow off because I have a tattoo appointment tomorrow. And on my day off, I decided to go to thrift stores. So, don't judge me too hard. So, the final, I think, uh, brief summary, I think, is about a guy. Who, a guy or a girl. Who's pretty much lost everything and they can't really do anything about it. <clears throat> He's talking about staring unintentionally to his left hand. Uh, where he can't do anything about it. So... My guess is he's holding a gun or a knife in his right hand. He's going to do something. Sorry, I had to turn my AC on because it's getting hot over here. It was like 50 degrees in the morning and now it's about 80 degrees. I think. I can't even see how I think. But if you hear something in the background, it's probably my AC for my car. <clears throat> Kiel talks about every time he bleeds, he sees a reason for living, which is... I can understand that. It's kind of like when you want to people who hurt themselves, myself included, you hurt yourselves, but when you see yourself bleeding, maybe we don't I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I think a lot of people they stop what they're doing and then like, oh shoot, I'm bleeding. I got to take care of this. So, maybe we were made to bleed for that reason. My favorite line of all is in this song, it's probably even loved ones scattered like um, petals or flowers. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Even loved ones scatter like petals from flowers in my hand. I think that's it. So what he's saying is pretty much um, eventually loved ones will disappear and you'll lose them. We don't know how the song started originally. If it started like he already lost people or things dear to him, but now he's talking about losing loved ones. And of course, there's the infamous line that says, "Suicide is the proof of life." That's a really good line too, because you don't really know that you're living until you're dead, and you realize that you're dead and you're no longer living. If that makes any sense. I think at some point of everyone's lives, they will have these thoughts and they will have these realizations of life in general and they will realize that, you know, it's not worth it, blah blah blah. I can go on forever about this, but I don't really want to. And of course, he also says something along the lines of, uh, once what's lost can't be born again. So that's pretty much talking about people, once you lose somebody. They're not going to be reborn. If you believe in uh, reincarnation and stuff like that, yeah, maybe they'll be reborn, but they'll probably be reborn to somebody else and you'll probably never meet them again. This song is called The Final, but I think if we were to translate it properly, it would probably be called The End or The Final Moment. I think in some of the the other um, inserts, it's just called final, but I think our version is called the final. 
but I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me down below. And then the last line says, let's bloom flowers of attempted suicide. So that, to me, I feel like it's gonna blow his head out and let's bloom flowers. That's all of the, um, all of the drops of blood exploding, I guess. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's how I interpreted it. Interpret, interpreted it. There, interpreted it. Okay, I can say it now. I probably forget how to say it in my next video. I keep pausing my videos because people keep walking by and staring at me. They're like looking into my window and wondering what the hell I'm doing. Or why am I recording myself talking? Anyways, that's my thought of this song. Um, if you disagree, let me know below why. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, GL Studios. And you can also follow us on Facebook. Um, brief summary, pretty much he's lost everything that he has. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He tries to attempt suicide, but he realizes what he believes is part of living. I think, uh, but serious, real talk, I, if you have depression issues or you ever have these kind of thoughts, you know, you guys can always message me on Facebook, on our Facebook page, or you, my email. I'm always open to listen to everyone. I lost a friend about a year ago to this, and um, right before that, I went through the same thing. So I know what it, what it's like, and I don't really like to talk about it, that's why I really didn't want to do this song at first. But I think this song gives a very good message for the people who um, understand what it's about. So yeah. So you know, just know that you're not alone, you're not out there by yourself, and there's always people out there that care. Some people just cope with things differently. We might think somebody doesn't care about you when they actually do. I've met several people along the way who are very quiet people, but when the time comes, they were always there for me. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, so this song is about that, and it's about attempting suicide, in my eyes anyways. And this song is not meant to trigger, it. this video is not meant to trigger anybody. If it did, I'm sorry. I truly am. But anyways, this video is probably not going to be edited besides my pauses between uh, takes in here. So, because I'm using my phone, I'm going to upload it directly from my phone. So, I know this video, this interpretation was pretty short, but the lyrics are pretty simple and pretty short also. And it's still one of my favorite Dear and Gay songs of all time. Um, if you guys grew up with Dear and Gay at this time, then you guys would probably like this song too. This was the original version, and there's also a remake. I can't remember when it was remade, but the lyrics are slightly different. But you can check those out also. Again, my name is G. Lee, and you're watching GL Studios. Peace out.